Roberts, thank you for joining me for this special late night edition on HQ Season 3 Premiere Night. I think they saved the best for last, right? And thank you for your patience. I'm your host, Lauren Gambino, and it does kind of feel like the calm before the storm, right? There's that moment of peace before all the madness kicks in. Hmm, could be because March Madness is just hours away. Have you filled out your bracket yet? Well, we at HQ started a group. It's called Team HQ Sports, of course, as a part of ESPN's Tournament Challenge. So head on over to our Twitter page, at HQ Sports. We posted the entry link right there for you, or you could search for it on ESPN. Hundreds of you guys have already joined, and I'm so excited. The lucky winner is getting extra lives and gets to help pick our next theme game. And there's more. If my bracket is in the bottom 50% of players, well, then you get to pick something super embarrassing for me to do live. Much more on that later, but probably not because I'm gonna crush it. I already filled out all of my brackets with some bold upsets too, I'll have you know. So I wanted to know, how do you make your selections? What's your strategy? We asked you on Twitter, at HQ Sports, we start every game with a little warm-up question, and here's what you had to say. At JJM3 says, a little bit of, I like your uniform colors, a little geography, a little fame, a little, let's try for some upsets, and a little, I want you to do well, but not too well. Ah, I like that strategy, that's nice. And at JStorm732 says, I like to pick the teams that are going to win. Yeah, me too, bud, but it's not always that easy. Things happen. Thanks, as always, for playing along. And don't forget to enter your bracket by noon Eastern time tomorrow, because following that, an hour later, we're back with HQ Sports, a special edition of our all-college basketball HQ Sports at 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, while you are watching the very first of the games and keeping your fingers crossed that your brackets won't get busted. Play along with me for a chance at some prize money, some points, and most importantly, the glory. Oh yeah, but first, we gotta play tonight's game. We're going for 12 rounds of sports-only trivia. Get them all right, and you win! Tonight's pot is $2,000, that's right! I was so sad I missed you on Monday night, so I thought, you know what, why don't I double that prize? Because, you know, I have that kind of power here. But you have the power to level up with HQ Season 3. We're giving out more points for every question so you can level up and earn free passes even faster. Plus, we are wiping the HQ referral slate clean. That means you can re-invite all of your friends to play HQ Season 3. And when you do that, you'll both get an extra life. You know how much we love teamwork here at HQ Sports. So get your team together, because Lord only knows I can't do this by myself. <laughs> all right, the game clock is set and we're all warmed up. It's time to get out there. So the over 127,000 players ready to give it their all right now. Let's see what you got. Round number one starts right now. At the NFL Combine, what distance is used to measure a player's sprint speed? A nautical mile, emotional, or 40 yards? I get so emotional, baby. Uh, yeah, wouldn't that be something if you could measure emotional distance? That's a whole new level to the Combine and probably useful for the coaches down the road, don't you think? But for now, we're talking in 40 times. The 40-yard dash is the answer. And there's Cedric Woods from Mississippi, the fastest at this year's Combine. 40 yards is the language we speak when measuring distance. 100,428 of you got that one, but I wanna know, how fast can you run a 40? Let me know in the chat right now. My answer, not very fast. Round two. A recent poll estimates that in 2019, roughly one in five American adults will fill out what? NCAA bracket, space camp application, or a giant novelty check? Uh, yes, please, to all of the above for me, but I am especially one of these Americans doing one of these. How about you? According to the folks at the American Gambling Association, about 50 million people are going to fill out brackets. NCAA bracket is the answer. We talked all about it in the intro. 97,613 of you getting that one right, which reminds me, you want to take on me and the rest of Team HQ Sports? Then head to Twitter, at HQ Sports. We posted the link to our bracket. Fill one out. 
round three. What Major League Baseball team plays home games at the highest elevation above sea level? Seattle Mariners, Colorado Rockies, or the Minnesota Twins? When you're talking about elevation, you better watch your oxyhemoglobin levels. Seriously, you should. It's dangerous. Well, they play at Coors Field now, but their first home was called Mile High. And that's a hint for you. The Rockies play in such thin, dry air that they keep baseballs in a humidor, which helps deaden them a little bit. The Colorado Rockies, they're all worried about the oxyhemoglobin levels. I swear it. 95,380 of you are moving on to higher altitude here. It's round number four. What athlete is currently reported to be negotiating the largest contract in team sports history? Mike Trout, Kevin Durant, or Patrick Mahomes? Pat Mahomes may be next. He may be the next athlete to have a big payday, but his big rumored extension, over 200 million or something like that, may not hit till 2020. With the NBA salary cap, you can bet even Kevin Durant won't come close to the 430 million, I can't even say it, 430 million that's likely headed to this smiling guy right here. He's a Jersey boy and at only 27 years old, Mike Trout is just... Oh, he's slowly becoming a billionaire, I guess. Mike Trout, 77,869 of you all wish we were having a little bit of a Mike Trout moment with that money, but I can get you closer to two grand. It's round number five. Who holds the record for most World Cup women's season titles in downhill? Fun, Anne-Marie moser Prol or Yanitza Kostelich? Kostelich was nearly untouchable at the Olympics, but with a women's record of eight downhill World Cup season titles and her 20 World Cup Crystal Globes, that's a top for men or women, no one dominated skiing like the recently retired Lindsey Vaughn. Lindsey Vaughn is the answer here at round number five. 71,886 of you are going to miss watching her on the slopes. I know, but team... We are now entering the halfway point. Here we go. I need you to focus on this one right here. Who hit this famous World Series home run? What a legendary moment! Who hit that famous World Series home run? Carl Yastrzemski, Carlton Fisk, or Fred Lynn? Who was it? What a moment! Well, a Hall of Famer, both in baseball and in body language, the original Pudge, Carlton Fisk, used everything in his power to wave this home run just fair as it pinged off the foul pole. Carlton Fisk is the answer here at round number six. 59,239 of you getting this one right as we head into the tougher questions. Round number seven. Who has the most all-time goals in soccer's UEFA Champions League? Pele, Cristiano Ronaldo, or Lionel Messi? Gotta score big here to get you through the second half. Well, who knows how many goals Pele would have scored if he'd played in Europe. But he didn't, so no Champions League for him. And while Lionel Messi might pass him, Ronaldo is still the king with 130 for Cristiano Ronaldo is the answer here. 29,302 of you getting that one right. And we are kicking things off with round number eight. Coming at ya. Who holds the record for most Ryder Cup appearances? Phil Mickelson, Nick Faldo, or Jack Nicklaus? Well, we know the Riders' Cup only happens once every two years. That means Phil's record of 12 appearances covers 24 years, an incredible run of sustained success. Ooh, try saying that 10 times fast. Phil Mickelson is the answer we're looking for at round number eight. 15,104 of you getting that one right. Oh yeah, Phil Mickelson is helping you 
tee things off for the next drive, and it's going to be a tough one. Round number nine, here it is. Which NFL player did not have at least two seasons with 2,000 yards from scrimmage? Tiki Barber, Adrian Peterson, or Walter Payton? I'm already missing football. Just talking about it gets me, oh, the feels. Walter Payton, or should I say sweetness, was so sweet, he hit this four times. Tiki was close, right behind him. He hit it in 2004, five, and six for three. AP only had one season with over 2,000 yards from scrimmage back in 2012 with the Vikings, but he's back with the Redskins again, and after a great season last year, you never know. Maybe he'll get there, but he hasn't done it yet, at least not two times. Adrian Peterson, 4,726 of you knew that one. You gotta protect that ball and rush on because round 10 is coming at ya. Which of these NHL teams has the best winning percentage based on its appearances in the Stanley Cup Finals? The Oilers, Islanders, or Penguins? What's your HQ Sports winning percentage, huh? Is it zero? Is it 100? My HQ Trivia winning percentage is zero, but me and Gab got to round 11 tonight, so that's close. <laughs> well, the Oilers are 5-2 and two with losses in 83 and in 2006, but with a bunch of Gretzky-led wins in between. The Islanders are 4-1, and one, but the Penguins are one win better. They won in 91, 92, 2009, 2016, and 17 with only one loss in 2008. The Penguins, if you pick them, then you're one of the 3,748 who are moving on to the final two rounds. We only got two left. Can you hang in for a big finish? You're round 11. Who won Dale Earnhardt's last race? Michael Waltrip, Jeff Gordon, or Dale Earnhardt Jr.? Race into the finish here. The race with the tragic accident that ended Dale Earnhardt's life ended like this. Come on, Mikey, you got it, man. You got it, you got it, you got it! You got it! People remember Dale Jr.'s heartwarming win at the same track, but that happened a few months later, and he didn't win his first Daytona 500 until 2004. But winning this one was Michael Waltrip. Michael Waltrip here, 1,615 of you knew that one, and you know what this means. We are down to the final round. It all comes down to this moment. Everything that you've worked so hard for. All the push-ups and pull-ups and chin-ups. All the blood, sweat, and tears. Do you want to let everyone you know down right now in this moment? No, you don't. So keep your head in the game in this moment. Round number 12 coming at you. Not counting James Harden, who has attempted the most shots per game in the NBA this season? Paul George, Kyrie Irving, or Kemba Walker? This is your moment. No one can touch James Harden and his 24.5 attempts per game in his record-breaking season. Irving doesn't even make the top 10 with his 18.3 average, which is still really good. But coming up in second is Paul George, whose 20.9 shots per game is right behind the beard. And if you picked Paul George, then you're our winners tonight, and we have 510 new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations! Five hundred and ten new HQ Sports MVPs. You know what? You stayed up a little bit past your bedtime tonight, and I appreciate it. And so does your wallet, because it all looks like it looks like we all are getting a prize of about three dollars and ninety-two cents. That could be your fancy latte in the morning, right? Boston three four. Oh my gosh, what a cute little kitty, Jen. Jen, pick pick you. Pick you. I pick you, Jen. $3.92 is coming your way. Johnny G29, I see you there. Hama Take, 393. 
I don't, I wish I knew what team that was, but you're looking at me dead on and I can't tell. And then there is an animal in what looks like an astronaut suit and that is the cutest thing ever. Amazing work to all of our new HQ Sports MVPs. You killed it tonight. Hey, we wanna do this again tomorrow? Let's say like 1 p.m.? Yeah, join me for our big March Madness game tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern time, right at the start of all of that madness. Also, make sure you get your bracket filled out. Team HQ Sports on ESPN. All right, team. I'm off to finish installing six TVs in the office and to make this place a little cozier because I'm not going anywhere. So until tomorrow, I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.